Darwin City Council is on the hunt for a giant cod which attacked a woman swimming at Lake Alexander two weeks ago. The hooks have been baited and now the wait is on to see if the monster fish will bite. As a television reporter, it's not every day you get a chance to wet a line. Jump on. With this in mind, we set off to catch the mysterious Lake Alexander foot-biting cod. We spent several days dragging, um, unsuccessfully. Twelve days ago, a Darwin woman sent council workers running for their nets after she was allegedly attacked by a metre-plus cod while swimming in the lake. Baiting 20 large hooks attached to a 175-pound drag line, lead fisherman Roger Matthews didn't sound overly confident of pulling in the monster cod. I'm hoping if he's got a taste for um, the local wildlife that's in here, as well as people, then he's going to love the squid that we've got out for it. Offering his expertise too was 71-year-old spear fisherman Lance Marshall. Well, I brought the, uh, the barbs as well, just in case. We're not knowing how big this thing is. Back out on the water, all was quiet until... Roger, I think we might have it, mate. Right. Well, the real mystery is, uh, how did the cod get in the lake? What have we got here? Oh. What have you got? Size 7. That must mean it's still out there. Now this fish, the one the fish before, coincided with the size sightings of the UFOs. Back on Earth, this swimmer took his chances. Others were hoping for lunch. Maybe if they catch it, would you like to see it barbecued? Oh yeah, I would like to try <laughs> if they catch it. But if it's like the Loch Ness, that will never happen. Lake Alexander will be closed again tomorrow while the hunt goes on for Darwin's mystery fish. Justin O'Brien, Nine News.